Hey everyone, Kevin here. This video comes as a request. I figured I would show off my game collection as a nice introduction to the channel. And here it is the main shelf of games. We got a really beat up Illusion of Gaia. I've never tried that game. Is it any good? I've got my box Genesis games up here. My PlayStation Mini and Twisted Metal. Some game bit screwdrivers. Got my little Sonic here because it's the Genesis section. Got Altered Beast, Balls, Animaniacs, Vector Man. All, all kinds of games, really. This. Some of the dumb game show stuff, but we got like Robocod and. I never tried that LHX attack copter. James Pond 3, hard driving. Bugs Bunny, everyone loves Bugs Bunny. Earthworm Jim, Jurassic Park, block out. Over here we got the Sonic Collection. Ren and Stimpy, Crash Dummies, remember those? X-Men 2, Insector X, Revolution X, which is a good one. Steel Empire, X-Men, a bootleg Wreck-It Ralph game, <laughs> Genesis 6-Pack, Bendy and the Ink Machine, he's just there, got some of my box Game Boy games, we got Rocky and Bullwinkle, Pack and Time, Toy Story Racer and Advance Wars, and Dr. Mario Puzzle League, two good games merged with one. You got some DS games, Dropcast, and one of those brain ages is sealed. Jackpot Mike hooked me up with a box for a Game Boy Advance, and then I've got a box Tetrasphere. Over here, Minions, Mario, what's not to love? My Super Nintendo collections, one of my Super Game Boys, a bunch of different games, Batman Returns is good. Battletoads Double Dragon seemed kind of hard. Never, I think I played Bonkers. It's pretty good. Ram Stoker's Dracula. Bust Move is a nice one. Cool Spot, Disney's Land, The Jungle Book. Of course, the classics, Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 2. Extra Innings, Flintstones. Another classic, F-Zero, Gradius 3. Harley's Humongous Adventure is an interesting one. Joe and Mac, Jurassic Park. Kirby's Avalanche, Last Action Hero, Mystical Ninja, Lion King, Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, Mario Paint, Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow. I got both Mech Warrior games, I got On the Ball. Pilot Wings, Pinball Dreams, Pinball Fantasies, Pitfall the Mayan Adventure, uh, Populous, Rocco's Modern Life, Shadowrun, SimCity, Spectre, Speedy Gonzalez, Spin Dizzy World, Star Fox, there's a classic, Stunt Race FX, Adventure Island, Super Mario All-Stars, that, that's a good one. Classic. Super Mario Kart. Mario World and Mario World Yoshi's Island. Super Off-Road. Super Pinball Behind the Mask. What's the name? Super Putty. Super R-Type. Tasmania. Tetris Attack, that's a good game right there. What's this next one? Oh, Buster Bust Loose, Tiny Toon Adventures. Trottlers is a great puzzle game, kind of like Lemmings. Uniracers. Wiz. Wild Snake, WWF Raw. Zoop. Zoop is a good one with a nice soundtrack. Donkey Kong Classics, this is my NES collection. Gargoyles Quest 2. Ikari Warriors, Legendary Wings, Mega Man, Ninja Turtles, Wrecking Crew, Bubble Bobble, 
Strider, Willow, Cobra Triangle, Adventures of Link, Metroid, Techno Baseball, Golf, Gumshoe, Donkey Kong 3, Dragon Warrior, Super Mario Brothers, Fester's... Oh, that's Mega Man 6. Bionic Commando, Mickey Mouse Capade, Popeye, Bugs Bunny and Crazy Castle, Gyrus, Excite Bike, um, Clax, Ninja Turtles 2, Adventures of Link, Still Boxed, Battle of Olympus, Quanta, Kabuki Quantum Fighter, Rescue Rangers, Dino Wars, Punch Out, Mario 2, Adaptate, Anticipation, Play Action Football, Mario Duck Hunt, Gyromite, Final Fantasy, Astianax, RC Pro Am, Ninja Gaiden, Ice Climber, Tetris, Arkanoid, Crystalis, Wizards and Warriors, Godzilla, Paperboy, Bart Simpson vs. the Space Mutants. Is that the Mario Triple Cart? Yep, the Mario Triple Cart. Wheel of Fortune, Airwolf, Monopoly, Mad, Pinball, Tubin. We got Tubin. Toxic Crusaders. Always a fan of the Toxic Crusaders. Ghoul School, another interesting game. Mario 3, Contra, Double Dragon, Jurassic Park, Zelda, Castlevania 2, Pinbot, Star Voyager, Kickle Cubicle, Heavy Shredding, Gradius, Legend of the Cage, Spot the Video Game, Simpsons Bart vs. the World, Ninja Turtles 3, Slalom, Bayou Billy, Dream Master, Gyromite, Duck Hunt, Super Off Road again, Double Dribble, Pinball Quest, Low Low, Pro Wrestling, Solomon's Key, Tiny Toons, Clue Clue Land, Pac Mania, Othello, Mock Rider, Mylan's Secret Castle, Roadrunner, Rad Racer, Kung Fu, Blaster Master, uh, the Sideways Games, Super Sprint, Renegade, Rocket Ranger, Rollerball, Rock and Ball, Mighty Bomb Jack, Metroid, and Faxandu. I don't have a lot of N64 games, but, you know, most of it's my childhood stuff. I got Glover. Last Core. Hexen. Star Fox. Wetrix. Wetrix is great. Uh, Wave Race. Mario 64. GoldenEye. Cruising USA. Pokemon Snap. And Shadows of the Empire. Um, and down here we got my PS1 stuff. I really like the PS1. Yeah, War Games, Defcon 1, Skeleton Warriors, The Great Beanstalk, Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, Crash Bandicoot Warped, Crash Bandicoot, Stuart Little 2, Pro Pinball Big Race USA, Pitfall 3D, Beyond the Jungle, 
SimCity 2000, Dance Dance Revolution Kona Mix, Patriotic Pinball, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, WWF SmackDown 2, Know Your Role, which is actually Bomberman World, <laughs> Pro Pinball, Spyro the Dragon, one of the PlayStation Underground Jam Packs, Activision Classics, Qbert, Auto Destruct, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, Ballistic, Time Crisis, MDK, Namco Museum, Volume 3, Pro Pinball, Fantastic Journey, Marble Master, Austin Powers Pinball Sealed, another underground jam pack, Magic the Gathering Battle Mage, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Wipeout 3, True Pinball, NASCAR 2001, Atari Anniversary Edition, Redux, Extreme Pinball, Crash Bandicoot 3 or 2. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, Slamscape, S Streak Hoverboard Racing, Crazy Ivan. And that was my PlayStation games. Over here, we got my original Game Boy stuff. Got, ton, got like over 200 games for this system. You got the 4-in-1 Fun Pack, Adam's Family, Adventure Island, Adventures of Star Saber, Alfred Chicken, Alien 3, Alleyway, Spider-Man, Amazing Tater, Animaniacs, Centipede and Millipede, Defender Joust, Avenging Spirit's a great game, Balloon Kid, Yes, I Got Barbie, it's actually not bad. Bart Simpson, Escape from Camp, De Camp Deadly. That's one of my childhood games right there. Baseball, Bases Loaded. Batman Return of the Joker is another childhood game. I loved it. Batman the Animated Series. I just got that for Christmas. And here's the first Batman game. Battle Arena Toshinden is a good fighter. Battle Unit Zeoth, Battleship. Battle Toads, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bionic Commando is another great game. Blades of Steel. Blues Brothers. Bo Jackson. Boggle Plus, Boomer's Adventures, and Asmic World. Boxel. Brain Drain, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Breakthrough is another great puzzle game. It's just very relaxing to play. Bubble Ghost is another puzzle game, but not nearly as relaxing as Breakthrough. <laughs> but it's still a good game. Bugs Bunny and Crazy Castle again. Bugs Bunny 2. Rye Fighter Deluxe. Burger Time Deluxe. I got two copies of Caesar's Palace because one's really bad shape. Casper, Castlevania 1 and 2, Chessmaster, Chuck Rock, A Dalian Opus, Dexterity, Disney's Aladdin, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales is a great game. I've had that since I was a kid. Back when I was like scribbling my initials on every single game I got. Anybody else do stupid stuff like that? DuckTales 2. That's a pretty good one. Mulan, I'm not too thrilled with, but I have it. Pinocchio. Pocahontas. I'm trying to get, like, every North American Game Boy game, so I'm, you know, Little Mermaids there. Toy Story. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Land. Donkey Kong Land 3. Double Dragon, Double Dragon 3, Dr. Franken, Dr. 
Dr. Mario F1 Race, Faceball 2000, the first person shooter on the Game Boy. Somehow they did it. Final Fantasy Adventure, Final Fantasy Legend, The Flash, Flintstones, Flipple, Foreman for Real, Frogger, Game of Harmony, Gargoyle's Quest, Getaway High Speed, Go Go Tank, Godzilla, Golf. There's a weird one. It's Hatteras. And then you got Hyankyo Alien. Always loved Home Alone. I got it for Christmas with my first Game Boy. I still have it. Haven't played Home Alone 2 a lot. In Your Face. Incredible Crash Dubbies. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. James Bond. Jeopardy Platinum Edition. Jeopardy Sports Edition. I, 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 I consider that to be the worst game in my collection. Just because of how dated and difficult it is. Like, 30 plus year old trivia questions on sports. Come on. I just have it for the collection. Jurassic Park, Kid Icarus, Killer Instinct, Love Kirby's Dreamland is one of the first games I beat. Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Pinball Land. Yeah, Clax, Krusty's Fun House, that's a great game. I got stuck at it though. Quirk, Legend of Zelda. Lion King, Lock and Chase, Looney Tunes, Loops, Spy vs. Spy. I need to play that some more. That's a classic game. Marble Madness, Mario's Picross, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mercenary Force, Metroid 2, Mickey Mouse Magic Wands, Mickey's Dangerous Chase, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, Power Rangers, Monopoly, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, Motocross Maniacs, Miss Pac-Man, NBA All-Star Challenge 2, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, NBA Live 96, Nemesis, NFL Football, NHL 96, I've actually played this one. I, I liked it when I got it. Clearance at Target. <laughs> Nintendo World Cup. Oddworld Adventures was one of those ones I couldn't really figure out. And I was kind of stuck. Operation C. Pac-Man. Paperboy. Paperboy 2. PGA Tour 96. Pipe Dream. Play Action Football. Pokemon Blue, Red, Yellow. I was the red guy when I was growing up. Popeye 2, Prehistoric Man, Primal Rage, Prince of Persia, Q-Billion, Q-Bert, Love Q-Bert, Kicks, Quarth, Radar Mission, Raging Fighter, Space Cadet Adventures, and v and Revenge of the Gator. I've got more games that will fit on one table. I've got Shanghai, The Smurfs, Snoopy's, Snoopy's Magic Show, Solar Striker, good uh, shooter game, Solitaire, Solomon's Club, Speedy Gonzalez, Sports Illustrated Championship, Cool Spot Adventure, Square Deal, Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Wars, Street Fighter 2, there's my childhood copy of Sumo Fighter, that game's shot up in value, it's a good game though, you're like running around throwing enemies in the air, and you can stomp the whole screen, it's pretty cool, Super Mario Land, Mario Land 2, 
super off road again. That game was everywhere. <laughs> super RC Pro Am, Super Return of the Jedi, Sword of Hope, Tarzan, Tasmania 1 and 2, Tecmo Bowl, Ninja Turtles 1 and 2, Tennis, Terminator 2. Or did, did I say Tetris? Tennis. Tetris. Tetris. Japanese copy. Tetris 2. Tetris Attack. Tetris Blast. Tiny Toons. Montana's Movie Madness. Tiny Toons. Babs Big Break. Tiny Toons. Wacky Sports. Tom and Jerry. Frantic Ags, Ag, Antics. Ultra Golf. Urban Strike. Vegas Stakes. They assured me it was Wario, Wario Blast. There's Wario Land. Wave Race. The, the Olympic Games. Winter Olympic Games. Word Trist. King of the Ring. WWF Warzone. Yogi Bear's Gold Rush. Yoshi. Yoshi's Cookie. There's Zoop. Pokemon Pinball is a good one. Bionic Commando. This is my Game Boy Color stuff now. Bionic Commando. Clax. Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Rampart. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Donkey Kong Country. We got some Japanese games. I don't know what they are. can't really say the titles because I don't know. Well, the last one's Q Billion again. Twubble, Shanghai Pocket, Frogger, Game to Watch Gallery 2, Yoda Stories, Pokemon Silver, 3DS games, Pokemon Gold, Gex, Battle Tanks, Pokemon Trading Card Game, and Hexite. And then we got the Game Boy Advance stuff up here. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Crash Bandicoot. Mario 3. Yoshi. Kids Next Door. Final Fantasy Tactics. Namco Museum. WarioWare. Tony Hawk. Some Pokemon cartoons. Some Spongebob cartoons. Monsters Inc. game, Doom, Arcade Advance, another arcade multi-cart, Advance Wars, Harry Potter, Pac-Man, Eye of the Beholder, Munch's Odyssey, Pokemon Pinball Ruby Sapphire, Nicktoons Collection, Tetris Worlds, Pinball Tycoon, Three Stooges, Donkey Kong Country, Zelda, Finding Nemo, Super Bubble Pop, Iridian 3D, Mario Pinball Land, and Grand Theft Auto. So that's all my portable stuff. Over here we've got my PC game collection. Back when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time playing PC games. More than consoles, probably. And there's some classic ones in here. Deer Avenger is a great game. Command and Conquer. I've never played Command and Conquer, but it's a good one. Diablo I've played. I hear a lot about Planescape Torment, but I've never actually played that. Soulbringer I've never played. Never heard of. Power Monger, I might have played it. After, Bar After Dark Games. A bunch of little mini games based on the After Dark screensavers. You Don't Know Jack Movies and Jack the Ride. The great trivia games, great series. Total Annihilation Kingdoms. Uh, I didn't really like that one. I didn't like the medieval high fantasy version of Total Annihilation. Mission Force Cyberstorm, I don't know much about. Icebreaker, I'd like to get that game going. Descent 1 and 2, classic games. Star Trek Action Pack that's got Armada and Armada 2, which are great games. After Dark, does anybody use screensavers anymore? That's a thing. That, that, that was a thing back in the 90s with the flying toasters. 
Ripley's Believe It or Not, that's a point-and-click adventure I've never tried. Fantasy Empires, I've got a lot of this Dungeons & Dragons stuff that I've never played or really thought about trying. Battle Drum, don't know what that is. Netstorm, one of the early RTS multiplayer games. I never got to play it. Monty Python's Complete Waste of Time is a classic game. StarCraft, of course. Cyber Tarot. Total Annihilation and the Core, Contingen core Contingency. Great real-time strategy game with an excellent expansion pack. I love that game. Simcopter was nice, and you got to fly around in your SimCity 2000 cities. SimCity 4, didn't play that as much. Arcanum was a great steampunk RPG, but it was always glitching out on me when I had it. Warcraft 3 was a great game. Doom 2, classic. Urban Chaos, it was fun to run around the city with cheats on spawning cars and weapons and just running around messing stuff up it was kind of like a precursor to people messing around in grand theft auto but you know it was a lot more limited but it was there and two copies of sim city 2000 great classic game Afterlife was a great SimCity 2000 clone where you tried to run an afterlife, a heaven and a hell. Theme Hospital was another strategy game where you build a successful hospital. Space Box was a space trading sim. I played a demo of it. I loved it, but I've never been able to get it going. Gearheads was a great game. R really simple just throw toys at each other until you get the most points. Normality was a great 3D point-and-click adventure game. Don't remember much about Arcade America, but I remember wanting it. And The Simpsons Virtual Springfield and the Cartoon Studio, I played those a lot. Tyrion, I think that was a shooter game. Caesar 2 was like another SimCity type game, I think. And Fire Earth was a great... RTS game. I remember playing that one a lot. Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, great helicopter action games. Global Domination, I don't know much about that one. Thexter, another one I don't know. Birthright, Blood and Magic, those are like Dungeons and Dragons type things, so I don't play those. Terror Tracks, it was like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but it was on an audio CD. So you just listen to the CD, and you pick one and go to that track and then listen to what it says. Wetrix was a nice puzzle game, but I've only played it on the N64. Interstate 76, one of those classic driving games based on, like, Mad Max. I can never get it working. Genie's Curse, more... Dungeons and Dragons, Doom Developers Kit, Warcraft, those are expansion packs, and Space Quest Collection. I love the Space Quest games. I've only played a few of them, though. And over here we got like, Pinball Arcade. More of that D&D stuff. A SimCity... SimCity 2000 expansion pack, Oregon Trail, that's a classic, Planet Strike, I think that was an FPS, add-ons for Doom, Magic Battle Mage, Virus the Game, I think what was cool about this, it was kind of like Descent or Doom, but it took files from your computer and like peppered the walls with them, so like your pictures and stuff would become the backgrounds. Magic Carp is a classic game. More dun more Doom add-on packs. After Dark. Just some educational software. Duke Nukem software. King's Quest. Duke it out in DC. Magic Carp 2. And Laser Suit Larry. Laser Suit Larry Collection. Those, those are good adventure games.
And over here we got the place where all the games get played, the place where the magic happens. I've decorated it with all kinds of action figures and video game posters and my favorite is the Minions poster. It's just a place where a kid can be a kid and you just sit down on the floor like in the old days and play games. And down here I've got my signed by Jeff Lee copy of Qbert and signed by Spengooly copy of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I figured Zombies Ate My Neighbors would be up Spengooly's alley, so I brought it for him to sign. And this is the Mitsubishi big CRT television the Jackpot Mike gave me. And all my systems are hooked into the selector box that he gave me. I've got the Minecraft stuff, which is a little anachronistic, but, you know, it's gaming, so it fits. I got my Kirby, my Yoshi, my little... I, I just always like this little T-Rex with the grabby claw. He's unstoppable. And behind here, I've got my Demolition Man figures. I really need to move these. <laughs> you got Spartan and Phoenix. Swamp thing gets in there. This little shelf I've got up here, it's kind of like my favorite games, I guess. My top stuff. It's the stuff that I wanted to play the most, I think. We got Demolition Man, Adam's Family Values, King Arthur's World, Judge Dredd, Home Alone, Batman, Narc, Time Tracks, Legend of Zelda, Krusty Super Fun House, Phalanx, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Fester's Quest, Double Dragon, Wing Commander, Lemmings, Phantom 2040, Cubert 3, Pushover, Cubert, and Castlevania. And over here, we got gorillas, we got minions, we got Wreck-It Ralph. This is my tower of power. All my main systems are hooked up to it. So I've got my 16-bit original Sega Genesis with NBA Jam inside, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, and a Brawler Gen controller made by Retro Fighters. I always kind of like their stuff. They try to modernize these classic controllers, and I like what they did. We got a Goomba, a Squid, a Turtle Shell. We got my N64, my childhood N64 with Wipeout 64 in it. But obviously I got Wipeout 64 much later. We got a Brawler 64 controller, some kind of rumble pack or something. Memory card, I don't know if it works. Down here we got another minion, we got Cat Dog, Pizza Shark. I have the Defender controller, but I felt like it was hard to control stuff with it, so I went back to the original controller. And then there's the Bubble Bobble and the Miss Pac-Man that I got for Christmas. And then down here, we got the Super Nintendo and the original Nintendo. The Super Nintendo has a Super Game Boy plugged into it. And a little doodad that lets me use an Xbox One controller with it. And on the right is the original, it's the top loading Nintendo with low G Man inside of it and a Retro Fighters jab controller. I mean, there's not much to say about it. Everything's hooked up and ready to go. You know. I kind of like how I got the posters and everything. I got the vintage CRT television. And I've still got a CD player stereo that still plays CDs. I still listen to them. I got my Ghostbusters over there. I got my Minions, my Dinosaurs that I won out of a claw machine. A little Kirby down there. 
yeah, this is just, you know, it's just the place where the kid can be a kid and sit down on the floor like in the olden days with a controller in your hand in front of the TV set and just play games. I mean, what else can I say about it? I like what I got going on here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. And tell me which games you want to see, too. Like, out of everything I got. I mean, there's some systems I can't play. Like the Game Boy Advance, because I don't have a Game Boy Player. Or the Game Boy Color, I can't really do. But I could do anything that's on this Tower of Power. Black and white Game Boy games. Any of it. I'll take requests. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.